Somebody call the law, somebody call the law It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong What up though, Heist Man the Foe Talk That Talk Ghetto News and Opinions Man Who is the top villain? Or the top horror villain? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man Um, Halloween coming up it's almost that time of the year again, man. But we gotta find out who the top horror villains is. Um, last night was the thirteenth episode of our show, Minutes to the Future, episode thirteen. It happens on a Friday, so I think uh, I thought about coming up with this. Who the top horror villains, man? We all know who they are. Jason Voorhees. Let's just run through these, man, because you know some of these movies y'all might have forgot about. Jason Voorhees. He was dope. Freddy Krueger, one of my favorites. Love some Freddy, man. He definitely a top horror villain. <sighs> Who else? Michael Myers, probably the scariest one to me. It was a um, cause I ain't really scared of too much, man. Like growing up, that scared me though. I ain't never liked the the smoke and the the mist and all that stuff, spooky ghost and stuff and paranormal. I ain't never get down with that. But a white man with a knife, it scared of me. So Michael Myers, probably one of the scariest ones. Pinhead. That dude was gross. Ew. He was scary, though. He's a top horror villain. Big shout out to Pinhead, man. I think they're making a new one. I think a woman going to be Pinhead. So, you know. Mm. But I'm going to check it out anyway. Who else? Pennywise. Um, We were having a debate last night about this. Who was the scarier one? The Skarsgård kid who played in part two. Well, Tim Curry, who played in one? I think number one is, to me, the Tim Curry one. It's something about the, his eyes. Like, the other one had eyes that moved around and did all that stuff, but Tim Curry's eyes was kind of, like, yellow, just about in the inside of him. And them teeth he had, just, like, he fit the bill, man. That was a scary dude, man. He'd look right at you and just, I don't know, man. So, the, it, the clown, the it. Pennywise, the first one, that's scarier to me, man. Y'all tell me who y'all think the scarier Pennywise was. Because the other one was scary, too. He did some scary stuff. All that moving around and contorting his body and stuff. And that was scary. What about this? Um, What's my man name from Saw? Jigsaw. I think the old white man was scary to me. The way his face looked. The vitamin C deficiency. Just, ugh. That was scary, man. He was scary to me. And everybody was saying in the chat, like, yo, I don't think I want to be make him mad and get on his nerves. He'll do some stuff to you. You know, like, oh, you forgot to take out the trash. Now I'm going to put you inside a trash can with something, with roaches or something. I don't know, man. Y'all know how he get down, though, man. He a top horror villain. Chucky? I was never scared of Chucky. I was more scared of Chucky when he wasn't Chucky. When he was talking and all that stuff, he made me laugh. But when he was just Chucky sitting there, with the eyes and little Andy keep walking by. I was like, yeah, that's scary to me, man. Chucky was scary. The um, good guy doll or my buddy. That's what it's based off of. My buddy, my buddy. Came out in the 80s. Kid sister, kid sister. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But when he was just the doll, that scared me more than the Chucky actual, you know, like John Gruden. All right, who else? Yo, this right here. This ain't even all of them, but this the puppet master. Them things was creepy, boy. They weren't scary, but they top horror villains, man. They did their thing. They got some bodies up under their sleeves, yo. The big head one. I mean, the big with the little head. I like the little drill head one. Zzzz, right in your chest. The one with the hat, the um, the knife and the... What you call this? Pretty dope. They ain't got the leech woman up here. They ain't got six shooter or the jester, but it's a few of them up here. Do some top horror villains, man. The Puppet Master movies, they still hold up, man. A little bit. Norman Bates. Is he scary? Did nobody think he was scary? Everybody thought he was just creepy. You know, we seen him. Everybody like, nah, he ain't scary. He just creepy. I liked him, though. Norman Bates. Top horror villain. The Shining. Jack Nicholson. Eh. He, he was top. He top, though, because, like, he did this thing. That movie just nasty, man. Seeing that woman get out of that bathtub. And, can't look at that, man. It's gross. But he's a top horror villain. Who else? Hannibal Lecter. 
I didn't think Hannibal Lecter was scary for the simple fact that Hannibal Lecter wasn't the bad guy in the movie. I mean, he ate some people, you know, ate a couple of people, shot a couple of folks or something or something. I don't think he shot nobody. He was just very intelligent, but um, the dude who, who um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. He was a bad guy who was kidnapping people and stuff. So he wasn't, he a top horror villain, too, just because. But I don't think he, I, mean, I don't know, man. He did do some stuff in Hannibal and Red Dragon. Eat people here while he was still alive. Do Ray Liotta like that. Mm, mm, mm. The ring. The white girl, scary. That was scary to me. Okay, nobody said. Maybe not the movie, but I mean, maybe not the, the girl, but the concept of looking at a, a video and you know, looking at a video and you die a couple of days later because of that. That was crazy. It was a little scared little girl too. Who else? He was scared to me, boy. What was his name? Damien or I don't know, man. I forgot his name, but he who walks behind the rose. Children of the corn. Him and his um sidekick Malachi. The little red hair boy. Oh my god. Them boy them, both of them were scary, man. Growing up. He who walks behind the rose. That little boy right there look creepy, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Little Amish hat or something. Ooh. Getting chills just looking at him. Look at this. What's this? Um Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? That's disgusting. The aesthetics on that mask, though, whoever made this show. I'll be watching that show called Face Off, and they build these things, yo. They did some work on this, yo. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good um, makeup job on this. But, he a horror villain, but he's the top horror villain. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The Terrifier. He pretty dope. I haven't seen the movie, but I've, I've seen the character. I've been, I've been meaning to watch this movie. I, I got to put it. It's on the... um. On my watch list, I haven't watched it yet, but it's a creepy looking dude, man. He's like his pointy nose and them teeth, his eyebrows. Ugh. Yeah, he he up there, man. He ain't scary to nobody. Um, Ghostface from Scream. I play a partner of mine, the ghetto guy, in the chat last night, or well, not last night. Eh. Whatever I did this video, I did it on Friday. I was talking about it. But um, he was saying that scary movie made him unscary, basically. This dude right here, cause they had him in scary movie with a whole bunch of mask on, smoking and smiling. And... So I get it. But this was kind. Of, this was a good movie though. The first Scream movie was pretty dope. I remember um going to see Scream Three. I never found out who. I think we found out who the killer was, and I left. I ain't never seen like the last ten minutes of it because. Me and my cousins was um we was in Detroit. We, my, me and my little cousins we was in Detroit. And we went to the um, movies to see Scream Three, and we was throwing candy in the front row. So somebody started um somebody you know we was throwing candy, and somebody said, "Man, who throwing shit?" And we all slumped down in our seat. We started laughing. We started giggling. He said, "All right, we gonna see who fucking laughing when the lights come on." And he stood up. We started slapping five with all type of gangsters, and it was like, "Oh shit." Like these, like, like eight dudes in that watching scary movie. First of all, but they, I think they was with their girls too. But they're like, all right, we gonna see who laugh when the motherfucking lights come on. Ain't that right? They start giving dap. Look, like, oh shit! So we find out who the killer was. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And um, my little cousin left his toe bogging. We said, hey, you leaving that bitch today? He's like, hey, I left my hat. We gone. We up out of here. We not playing around. They ain't gonna beat us up. We was throwing Reese's pieces or something. Just boop. Boop, not little kids be, man. I think we was, we was young, too, man. Because I'm the oldest um, grandchild on my daddy's side. So, a, a whole bunch of little boys underneath us. A whole bunch of little cousins. And we all up there, and I got to protect them. And I'm the oldest, but they young, and these dudes older than me. They finna beat up. No, son, not over no screen movie. But that's what happened. My little story. Annabelle. I ain't never seen Annabelle, but Annabelle look creepy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like Annabelle. Is she a top horror villain? Y'all let me know in the comment section. The Nun! I don't want none of that. Mm -mm. That looks scary too. Is that pointed nose? Oh, she got two noses. Ugh. That's scary to me. This right here was creepy, man. This is the dude off um, American Horror Story. Now, this was a damn. This was a creeper. 
This was a creeper right here, man. So, yo. I don't know if y'all ever seen this American Horror Story when he was involved in it. But this was crazy, man. Mm, mm, mm. This white lady from Get Out. She had that damn spoon in that damn saucer in that cup. She's scary. She a top horror villain to me. Mm -hmm. That's all right movie to get out. Key and Peel or Peel or Key. I don't know which one did Peel. Jordan Peel. The Leprechaun. I forgot about him on Friday night. I had Adam to the situation. This was a horror villain. He was top. He was cool. I ain't really like the um the hood ones. Leprechaun in the hood or back to the hood. It was like, ah, come on, man. Don't, 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 don't dumb it down, man. Don't, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to go to the hood to make a movie uh, a good. I mean, it helped out. It was good. Leprechaun in the hood is like, uh, it's like seeing Jason in outer space. Like, what we need to see Jason, Jason X, outer space. Jason, outer space. I'll jump the shark, man. Leprechaun in the hood. No, let's Leprechaun do his regular. What's his name? Jason Take Manhattan. Why, why Jason got to be a... He stay, stay at Captain Crystal Lake. Going out. That's what movies do, man. When they start uh, mess, As they start making other movies, they like to um, change the location. Or bring a child in. You bring a child into your your sitcom or you start moving locations. You're like, come on, man. Don't, don't move location. I got something in my damn mouth. A piece of hell. I got big teeth. All right, Leprechaun. Ooh, candy Candyman. Kitty man, that was creepy right there, boy. He had all them flies, and, I mean, them bees coming out of him. Ugh, that hook went nasty with the meat around it. Ugh. Candy man, candy man, candy man. I'm not saying that three times in the mirror. The shit. Y'all remember him? This dude from, um, Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood, it wasn't really that scary to me. It was, it was funny. It was, it was all right. I liked it. I watched it. But this dude right here at the end when that little snake tongue coming out of that, through that gap. Everybody found out they was dead. It was like, oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. Clarence Williams the third, something like that, man. R.I.P. to him. Captain Spaulding. He wasn't necessarily a villain, but he played in the scary movie, and I like him, man. What's his name? Sid Haig? Sid Hall? Didn't he pass away, man? R.I.P. to him if he did. I think he just passed away a couple years ago, man, but he was pretty dope, man. He a horror villain, too. Who else? Ooh, this little girl right here from The Exorcist. I don't think... I think this girl is real scary, but I don't think they still um, captured the scariness in another little girl like this, man. The way her eyes look, them, them white, milky eyes. Or was they yellow? They was light, they were real light colored. But back then, like, ugh. That was creepy, man. I, I ain't seen nobody do that yet. Ain't been a scarier girl than her since then, man. man. Except Leslie Jones, but hey, you know. These scared me too growing up. Um, the killer clowns from outer space. It's cause they look like that, man. They had them big old eyes and them teeth and he, 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 laughing and stuff. And yo, them things are scary to me. I don't care what nobody say. And I ain't scared of clowns either. It was them clowns right there was creepy. Cause some people scared of clowns. I ain't scared of no clown. I'll back up, you know. I will punch you. Leatherface. He was scary. Um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Le Leatherface. I think the hills have eyes. Them, them people, they were scared of me. Oh, the man from Fantasia, Phantasm, Fantasia, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He was scary. He was real scary, man. This tall white man, about, about seven foot tall. With that hell. Walking around with a damn a sphere. Drilled the side of the dude's head one time. I was like, ooh. That was creepy. Old school. Hey. He was funny, but he was scary and nasty looking, man. Right here, the Crypt Keeper. This animatronic little doll they had. Tales from the Crypt. That's old school, but that was nasty looking, man. He was scary. Especially had them real light blue eyes with that face. That no nose, them teeth, them hands. I had an uncle look like him, man. We used to call Uncle Raymond the Crypt Keeper. R.I.P. Uncle Raymond. He used to do stuff like that. He used to do Crypt Keeper things. 
used to do that, man. I miss my uncle, man. Damn. The real Jetta. This right here, man, from Pan's Labyrinth. Them eyes on their hands. Ugh, look at that, man. That's creepy. That is nasty to me, boy. He covering up. Ugh. Some fingers. Ugh, that's nasty looking, man. But is it a top horror villain? There's some things that scare people, man. It scared me. This right here scared me a lot growing up. This white woman right here from Poker Dice. Poker Guy, Poker Dice. A lot of people were screaming, um, were saying Pet Cemetery. I ain't put them in the, um, in this video. But Poker, 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 I keep saying Poker Guys, Poker Dice, Poker, Poker Dice. Damn. This woman right here. Step into the light, Carolyn. This little white woman. She's scary, man. She was short. She had them little glasses. She had a little fat face. Them little colorful rose-colored glasses. Oh, my God. She was scared of me. What's his name? What's it? Vigo? I forgot his name. This dude right here from um, Ghostbusters. That picture. Scared the living dead light inside of me, man, growing up, man, as a child in the 80s. Late 80s, early 90s, whatever. When this movie came out. Seeing that picture right there of this white man. He's walk. You walk by and the eyes move. You're like, oh, that's scary. My wife used to think he should be bull from Night Court. <laughs> Richard Moore. But that ain't him, man. And Large Marge. They just scared me to death, man, watching Pee Wee Herman. Um, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And get out of that car. <laughs> Large Marge did that. Scary. Freaked me out. A jump scare. A jump scare. They were scared. But I'm going to tell y'all, man, the truth. The scariest thing you should get me was not from a scary movie. The thing that scared me the most came from Peter Gabriel music video, Sledgehammer. If you ever seen this video, it's old, man. It's a good song. It's a good video. But at the end of the video, when he did this, yo, scared me to death my whole life. Look at this, man. Sledgehammer. When he did this. Oh, my God. It's scary to me, man. Look at that, man. That messed up my whole childhood right there, man, looking at this video. I used to be at nighttime scared. I'm like, no, sir. I'm not coming. No, don't cut the lights out. Turn my nightlight on. With my glow worm. That's how old I am. I had a glow worm. And every time he did that in that video, man, that scared me to death. My mom used to play that video. We used to come on MTV or VH1. Back in the days when they played music videos on TV. But watching Sledgehammer, this Peter Gabriel video, when he did this, and the lights go out, and he stood up. And he just, oh, my God. Y'all can't tell me that ain't creepy. Look at that. Sledgehammer. Mm, 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 mm. Scared of me, man. It's my childhood right there. So my biggest fear didn't come from a damn um, scary movie or like that. It came from that. Peter Gabriel, Sledgehammer. Anyway, man, these are the top horror villains. Y'all tell me, did I miss any? Y'all tell me who y'all think, who the number one in this, who the scariest out of this to y'all? Y'all childhood growing up, who did I miss? And whatever, man. I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All the good buttons you got to hit to get this pimper that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist me in the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinion. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>